Okay, so we're going to move on to challenge number three in my series of learning Inkscape for creating SVGs to uh, work with Design Space. And so in this video, we're going to create some text and we're going to get a script font that's joined together. And we're also going to um, work with the alignment tools and we're also going to arch the text. So first we'll insert a word. And so again, I'll insert Troy 2. And we will turn off our document border. I forgot to do that. So we'll go File and Document Properties and turn off the page border. I just find that to be annoying, as I've said before. And I'll hold down the Control Shift keys and adjust this just a little bit. And next we'll highlight the text and then we'll change it to a script font. I'll choose Script empty bold, which I think most people probably have on their system. Change to our selection tool and we'll zoom in on this a little bit. As we can see, the spacing uh, needs to be adjusted a little bit. So in Inkscape, to adjust the spacing between letters, you put your cursor between the letter, you hold the Alt key, and you move it left or right. If you want it closer, you move it to the left. If you want it further away, you can move it to the right. So that's again, that's holding the Alt key. And then we'll move this one a little closer over here, just so it looks a little bit more proportional. And now that we have uh, good proportional space text here, we'll zoom back out a little bit. And next we're going to insert a circle. and. Don't forget to look at your fill and stroke panel up here to make sure you're going to see a color when you do this. Some people have been doing this and not getting a solid uh, object or just getting an outline. So you have to go check some settings in there. If you have any problems with that, just message me or post on Facebook and tag me. And again, we hold Control Shift to make sure we get a symmetrical circle. And next, we're going to hold down uh, the Shift key while we select one item and then select the other. And then we're going to go to Text, Put on Path. And as you can see, it applied it to the path around the circle. Now, uh, you can tell if you zoom in that our spacing on our fonts changed just a little. So we'll have to put our cursor in there and make those adjustments again. Again, so just that they're overlapped a little bit. And that is adjusting our kerning, K-E-R-N, kern, which is the space between the fonts. And we'll zoom back out a little bit. Now, there are, in another video I have on the how to spring scape, I'll show you how to pivot this around, but I'm not going to go into all that here. We're just into, uh, you know, our goal is to make this arch text that we can uh, spin around very easily. So um, the, what you run into is now that your circle is the path that your text is applied to, if you try to delete the circle, you lose the arch. So what we have to do is change your text to a path first. Again, path, object to path. And now we can delete that circle if we wanted to and get rid of it, and it would maintain our curve. Now, I'm going to keep the circle. Uh, I'm going to use that here in just a moment. That's going to stay as part of our challenge. And now that this is separate, I can click on it twice and get our rotate arrows and uh, rotate around. And one of the tricks I use is, as you see, as I move it, you see your bounding box here. And so when I move it to where it touches both pieces, it's level once again. And we can move that up here. And we'll go object, raise the top. Now we have the word arched over top of our circle. And if we want that uh, dead in the center, uh, we're gonna show, I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. First, we're going to apply another shape. And don't forget to check up here to see which shape you're applying. A couple of folks got the, um, uh, octi or, uh, yeah, the octagon shape. No, that's a pentagon and uh, instead of the star. So we're going to insert a star. I'll change the color to yellow. And we'll move it down here. Now, 
we want all of this centered. Um, so what we're going to do first, we'll move this out of the way a little bit, and we'll select both of these items, and we're going to press Control Shift A, and that's going to bring up your Align panel. So in Design Space, you have alignments, and this is very similar. So with both of those objects selected, I'm going to click the vertical and the horizontal alignment, and that should give me um, a perfect center between uh, the two objects. Now, I'm just looking at it. I notice there it looks to me like there's a little bit bigger gap here than there is over here. I'm not sure why. Maybe the star is not proportional, but um, just want you to get used to the alignment panel. I'm sure somebody would point that out if I didn't. Uh, so then we're going to bring this down here and put it just above the uh, circle. And we're going to hold shift and select the circle. And we're going to hold shift and select the word. And we'll use our center tool to put that exactly in the center. Now, since this has been converted to a path, remember from our previous video, this, uh, these letters are grouped individual objects. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see this. Again, zoom in is our plus key. And if I go to my node editor, when I mouse over them, you'll see that they are individual letters. And if I zoom way in, you can see the overlaps. So if I were to cut that as is, those overlaps would cut. So just like in Design Space, we want to kind of weld those together. So the best thing to do is to highlight the word, and we will ungroup it. And you see you have separate letters at that point. And then we'll go to Path Union. And now when I use my node editor, you'll see that that is all one object. And if I click on it, you can see the nodes. And now, uh, just to be sure, I'm going to select all my objects uh, of to make sure that our circle and our star are converted to a path. And go path, object, path. And now uh, those objects should be ready to cut. If we want to take a look at it, we can go to display mode, outline. And we can see our outline nice and clear. Go back to normal mode. We'll group this. And again, we'll save it as a plain SVG. We'll call this Challenge 3. We'll save it. We'll switch over to Design Space and upload that SVG file. As you can see, our preview looks good. We'll insert this into our project. And we can see our three layers over there. If we want to, we can ungroup them and move them independently. If we click Go, we will get our three cutting mats as we would expect, black, green, and yellow. Again, one of the goals of these uh, challenges is to get your design completely created in Inkscape and then saved as a plain SVG file and imported into Design Space without errors. So uh, a few people posted that they were able to do it, but they received some errors. And if you do get any errors on import, uh, you might want to go back and go through the tutorial again step by step. Take your time, pause it, and do the steps over. And make sure you can get your design into Inkscape, or excuse me, from Inkscape into Design Space without any errors or warnings during the import process. So if you're able to complete this without any trouble, take your uh, screenshot. You can use the Windows Snipping tool to do so and post it on Facebook and tag me in your post and I would appreciate it. To quickly recap what we did in this video, we created a text object which we had done in a previous challenge and we changed the font, only this time we chose to uh, use an overlapping script font. I used the script MT bold font, which uh, you may have used a different font. And we also adjusted the kerning or the spacing between the letters using the alt and the left and right arrow keys we inserted a symmetrical circle, which we've done before, but this time we applied the text to that circle, the path of the circle, using the uh, text menu and the put on path command. And then we converted that text to a path because if we try to move it, it would not move with, uh, you know, if we try to get rid of the circle or whatever path we applied it to, it loses its path that it was put on. So you have to convert the text to a path so that it does not change. Then we rotated and leveled that text, and we inserted a star 
and use the align and distribute panel to center the star and the circle over top of one another. Again, you can use Control Shift A to open that align and distribute panel. We then use Union to sort of weld the text so that it will cut as one piece. Then we group the objects, save them as a plain SVG, and we imported them into Design Space. Again, if you were able to complete this, please take a screenshot, post it on Facebook, and tag me in it, and I would appreciate it. If my video has been helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. And after you subscribe, be sure to click the little gear and check this box so that you'll receive an email notification when I upload a new video. You can also help support my channel by making a small donation on patreon.com slash Troy Young.